Hot Wax Commerce has created a new Shopify meta field to populate the pre-order and back-order dates along with their statuses to enable the third-party applications read the dates and display them on PDP without any confusions. During listing of pre-order and back-order products in Shopify, Hot Wax Commerce currently populates the pre-order or back-order meta field. Sometimes when a product goes from being a pre-order product to the back-order category, both of these meta fields are populated as Shopify does not allow us to empty the date once it's been populated. Any third-party application when reading meta fields often display the wrong dates on PTP due to this confusion in dates. Hotwax Commerce will now populate the new meta field with the category name, date and their status. Let me show you how this meta field works. Once the product is in the category that is the pre-order or back-order category in Hotwax Commerce, that product is now marked as a pre-order or back-order item in Shopify. Earlier, the Shopify meta fields that is pre-order and back-order dates were uh, populated. Now we have added one more meta field that is HC pre-order. When you open this, you will see a message that is the promise date is this this that was updated last on January 4th. The type or the category of the product is pre-order and the status is active. As soon as this uh, product goes out of the pre-order category, this will be updated here and the status will be inactive. Same way, if a, a item is a is in the pre-order category first and then goes to the back order category, this message will change and get just the updated promise date, and the pre-order type will become a back order and the status will become active again. This way, the third-party applications displaying the pre-order or back order date on PDP will be able to read the correct dates and the correct category and will be able to show the correct data on PDP. For more information on Hot Wax Commerce, visit our website at hotwax.co or you can visit our forum at forum.hotwax.io.